guys, Harry Thomas here, and happy 2018 to you all. I hope you all uh, celebrated uh, the new year uh, with uh, your family, friends, and uh, loved ones uh, in spectacular fashion. And I cannot believe it's 2018 already. Where did 2017 go? Uh, am I uh, right? Uh, and what a significant year in movies 2017 was. Uh, and uh, judging by uh, the uh, highly anticipated movies of 2018, 2018, 18 and uh, is going to be a uh, no exception for movies it looks like we're going to have some uh well uh, enormous uh, franchise uh, movies this year as well as uh, plenty of sequels uh, to look forward to some even longer overdue sequels and uh, yeah, the, uh, this 2018, uh, I uh, just uh, cannot wait to see uh, where uh, movies go this year. And uh, and uh, I am uh, uh, starting off uh, this year with, of course, my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2018. And uh, it's uh, all right if, uh, if your uh, uh, list uh, is different from mine. Uh, uh, that's inevitable. I cannot wait to hear it. Uh, your lists are in the comments below. Uh, so without further ado, we'll start at number 10 and work my way up to number at one. number 10, Darkest Hour. It's Gary Oldman as Winston Churchill. What's not to like? Uh, Gary Oldman, uh, uh, I've heard, had to uh, go through like uh, four hours of prosthetics uh, to uh, portray uh, Winston Churchill, uh, our hero in World War II that led uh, our nation and... Uh, the world's nations to victory against uh, Hitler's tyranny. And uh, it's not only Gary Oldman uh, to uh, uh, look forward to in this movie, but also uh, Lily James, extremely talented actress. Uh, and uh, Joe Wright may have given us the uh, awful disgrace uh, that was Pan in 2015, but here it looks like he's redeemed himself already. At number nine, it's Steven Spielberg. How could it not uh, make the list? Resi Player One. And now, uh, even though uh, Steven Spielberg's uh, previous movie, uh, the BFG, was decent, uh, it was sort of a letdown due to its sugarcoating the darker moments of that story, but uh, fingers crossed uh, Resi Player One uh, will avoid a sugarcoating things by family movie standards and it looks like it's going to be the interactive experience uh, of uh, the decades uh, with all these timeless video game characters and I just I know so little about this movie I can't wait to see uh, the story and uh, at number eight Deadpool 2 now uh, I um, absolutely loved uh, the original Deadpool uh, back in 2016 it's uh, arguably uh, in my top five uh, favourite X-Men uh, movies, uh, despite only being a spin-off. Uh, it's uh, Ryan Reynolds uh, uh, was born to play Deadpool. He is Deadpool, and uh, the romance uh, was uh, one of the sweetest and most beautiful ever told in any superhero movie, period. And uh, Deadpool 2 is thankfully uh, being released in an age where superhero sequels uh, have shown to be uh, better than their predecessors. Uh, a Spider-Man 2 is is better than Spider-Man 1. Uh, Winter Soldier is superior to First Avenger. You know what I mean. And uh, as long as uh, I don't uh, I don't anticipate Deadpool 2 to be better than the original, that would be remarkable. But as long as it's uh, an absolute blaster, uh, I'll be satisfied. At number seven, Jurassic World 2, Fallen Kingdom. I uh, may be in the minority, but I am a, a genuine defender of the first Jurassic World. Uh, it's uh, my second favourite um, instalment of the Jurassic Park uh, franchise. Uh, the Indominus Rex... Uh, was uh, the most badass uh, uh, dinosaur in the Jurassic Park franchise. I I just loved uh, uh, Chris Press and Bryce Dallas Howard's. Uh, uh, sure, the two kids uh, uh, were annoying, uh, but uh, Jurassic World uh, 2, uh, I uh, believe uh, there's hope that uh, that this movie will surpass its predecessor, and uh, of course they were going to make a sequel. Uh, the first movie uh, uh, was a box office smash, uh, and then uh, this movie thankfully is using uh, real uh, practical dinosaurs, and going back to uh, 
the days of uh, the original Jurassic Park. Uh, so uh, there should be no complaints about uh, uh, bad CGI uh, this time. Yeah, and I, uh, for one, uh, uh, shall be seeing a Jurassic World uh, 2 uh, Fallen Kingdom the day it opens, and I shall be reviewing uh, all four instalments uh, of Jurassic Park uh, in anticipation for this one. At number six, Venom, the Venomous spin-off movie and the first uh, on-screen appearance of Venom since uh, Spider-Man 3, uh, back 11 years ago, and uh, now uh, Tom Harzy uh, uh, being cast as Venom is a freaking miracle uh, since uh, he showed us uh, what he got uh, as Bane in The Dark Knight Rises, uh, one of uh, the uh, greatest uh, movie villains uh, in my personal opinion. So uh, uh, goodness knows uh, what he'll have in store uh, as Venom. And uh, it's, this is uh, an interesting uh, uh, new direction for a superhero movie as it's an origin story of a villain uh, rather than a hero. Uh, who and and it's a uh, and it's Venom. Uh, Venom's always awesome. At number five, uh, 2018 is going to be a totally kick-ass uh, year for uh, the MCU and Marvel itself. Black Panther finally. Uh, Black Panther is actually getting uh, his own solo movie, and uh, the wait should be totally worth it uh, by the looks of this uh, trailer. I mean, um, Black Panther was one of the uh, major highlights of uh, Civil War, uh, so uh, to actually get to see his origin story is going uh, to uh, be a, a, a treat indeed. And I uh, thankfully know a. Uh, uh, almost nothing about the plots and I intend to keep it that way until I see the movie and uh, the movie just looks uh, breathtaking uh, from from where a Black Panther uh, uh, came from and we actually get to see it on the big screen and <laughs> yep uh, uh, I, I even though I've been uh, underwhelmed uh, by uh, 2017's MCU offerings uh, 2018 uh, uh, should alter that and should get the MCU back to Form. At number four, you all just knew this uh, had to make uh, my list. Uh, I uh, I know for a fact this is going to be everybody else's uh, number one. Uh, it it's, uh, isn't quite my number one, uh, but uh, it uh, still uh, deserves a place in the top five. Avengers Infinity War. Finally, finally, it's happening. We get to see not just the Avengers, but the Guardians of the Galaxy and Doctor Strange. Uh, all, all of the MCU heroes uh, over the past uh, decades uh, that this movie has been built up to team up to take on Thanos, uh, who looks like the most uh, uh, freaking awesome and badass uh, MCU villain to date. So he's finally going to get off his ass, do something, and he's going to wreck shit up in this movie with his Infinity Stones. Uh, the trailer blew my mind. Uh, this uh, We've never seen a superhero movie on this scale uh, from the trailer. This is going to be not just a superhero epic, but a, a superhero extravaganza. Uh, man, uh, I shall also be uh, giving my thoughts on the previous MCU movies prior to this one. At number three, I know for a fact that nobody else is going to anticipate this movie over Infinity War and Black Panther, uh, but... Uh, Aquaman, yes, call me a DC fanboy, call me whatever you want to MCU fans, but uh, I but uh, I believe if 2017 taught us one thing is that the DCU isn't the total failure that uh, everybody thought it was. Uh, uh, Wonder Woman uh, showcased that and also Justice League showed that two masterpieces in just uh, one year. And even though uh, in 2018, uh, this is Marvel's uh, time to shine and uh, redeem themselves. Uh, uh, I Aquaman uh, is a uh, is the DC movie that uh, I've been wishing uh, to see uh, from uh, the very beginning. And uh, and uh, Jason Moa as uh, not only Jason Moa as Aquaman, but Amber Heard is in this movie, and uh, she uh, 
looks uh, amazing as hell. I, I cannot wait to see uh, what's the relationship dynamic uh, these two have in Atlantis uh, in that uh, brief moment we saw them in Justice League. That's going to be uh, totally expanded upon. Yes, uh, Aquaman, uh, it should be uh, yet uh, uh, a, a continuous uh, win for the DCU. At number two, again, a, a comic book, a movie sequel that is uh, long, emphasis on long overdue, The Incredibles 2, man, a 2018 uh, it has uh, more comic book movies than and sequels than ever before, but uh, The Incredibles 2 is the Pixar movie we have been uh, begging Pixar for uh, for 14 years now, and it's come uh, to fruition. They have answered our prayers. It's about damn time, Pixar. Uh, we should have uh, received Incredibles 2 uh, long before uh, Cars became a trilogy, even though the teaser trailer could have been better. Uh, I... Uh, I'm uh, guaranteeing you that this movie will open from where the previous movie left off. Uh, you know, that's, uh, that terrific jaw-dropping uh, cliffhanger uh, with uh, the family uh, battling the Underminer. It had better open like uh, that, fingers crossed. Uh, yes, The Incredibles 2 uh, should, uh, uh, should, fingers crossed, be uh, the best uh, uh, sequel of uh, 2018. It's... Uh, it should live up uh, to all the hype, and it would have been number one uh, had it uh, not uh, been uh, for uh, my uh, uh, number one choice uh, of uh, one of my uh, favourite movie franchises of all time. And my number one most anticipated movie of 2018 is... Duh! Obviously, my most anticipated movie of 2018 is Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Long-time subscribers of mine will know the original Fantastic Beasts was my favourite movie of 2016. And it uh, is uh, the greatest uh, prequel ever made, period. Uh, uh, we couldn't have asked for a better prequel to the Harry Potter franchise. Uh, it far exceeded the Star Wars prequels and uh, the Hobbit trilogy as a prequel prequel, uh, relying uh, on uh, little to no nostalgia, uh, nothing but originality, and uh, I, and uh, this is uh, the prequel that uh, Harry Potter fans have uh, have long waited for. Uh, uh, J.K. Uh, Rowling is thankfully writing the scripts for these movies, uh, which I'm proud of, since Harry Potter uh, is her story, uh, her universe. Uh, and uh, I and uh, in this movie, I just uh, would love to see a uh, Newt back. I'd love to see Tina back. I love. I hope uh, Queenie and Jacob actually uh, end up uh, together uh, since uh, they were parted at the end of uh, the previous movie. And uh, we uh, actually get. Uh, we're getting far more Grindelwald uh, in this movie. Yeah, Johnny Depp uh, gets uh, his uh, spotlight to shine, and we actually get to meet a younger Dumbledore. The uh, the uh, thing that J.K. Rowling has has uh, guaranteed us is that uh, uh, Dumbledore and Grindelwald had history together, and we get to see it. Ah, oh, how freaking awesome is that? Yep. Yeah, uh, fantastic beast the crimes of Wint Grindelwald I am proud to call my number one most anticipated movie of 2018 I know I'm a Harry Potter fanboy but said uh, who doesn't love Harry Potter am I right guys so that was my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2018 and uh, well 2018 only time will tell if uh, you will be a success or failure year in movies uh, it can be a success uh, if we all uh, believe uh, well I love you guys thank you all for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, top 10 list and what are your most anticipated movies of 2018 please comment and let me know please like this video and subscribe please follow me on Twitter and on Google Plus and on Instagram and I'll see you all next time and Stay tuned for uh, more uh, uh, 2018 uh, January reviews. Uh, and uh, remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.